Believe it or not, this is going to be tough video to make. Tough is so far, I think, for me. Not to mention the first of this kind, also for me. Today we will be looking at the smart home, but through written words. We will be looking at the book by Marco Carvalho called Building Smart Home Automation Solutions with Home Assistant. Thank you, Marco and Pact, the publisher, for sending me this book for a review. Before we do a brief summary of the book, let me tell you why I am scared of doing this video. Being a content creator myself, I know how much time and effort goes into making a video. Video that's about 15 to 20 minutes long takes days of work. From idea, testing, preparing, recording, editing and publishing. Only last part or editing can be 3 to 4 times total amount of video material recorded. So for one video of recorded material, it takes three or four hours of editing. Writing a book with 300 pages that covers a very broad theme, environment that is fluid and changes each month, trying to keep it future-proof and making it interesting for both people just starting, but also people already knee-deep in the home automation business, that's a very, very big task. But to award some of you that did watch this video, I have a gift. Actually, Marco and Pact have a giveaway for you. You may win a copy of the book. Later in the video, I'll tell you how you may win one printed copy or one of the two electronic books. But we'll talk about that in a couple of minutes. For summary, this book will guide you through five chapters, from first steps in Smart Home with Home Assistant to some advanced projects like connecting external databases, building custom DIY sensors and flashing custom firmwares on the commercial IoT products. Each step is well described, giving you all necessary information so you can follow it at your own pace. Code that is very readable in the book is also available on the GitHub repository. While I may not be a big fan of some of the products used in the book, it also gave me more insight into things I'm not versatile at. For example, book not only shows you how to create and use internal home assistant automation, but it also gives you alternative option to automate your home with no dread. Yeah, no dread. And while ESP Home is not covered in the book, yes, it is mentioned but not covered, you'll learn about using Tasmota and how it can help you with the DIY or off-the-shelf devices. Let's explore it in a bit more detail. There are five main chapters that divide content into logical segments. First chapter covers fundamentals of home automation systems, what are requirements, benefits of automated home, home automation structure and some examples. And in the second part of this chapter, Marco starts digging in into Home Assistant, with introductions to it, features, definitions and where to get community support. Plus, if you've never played with Home Assistant, you'll learn here how to start with installation and the basic configuration. In the next part, Marco covers commercial products, how to add them to Home Assistant in two ways with original firmware and hacked firmwares. Third section of the book starts with guide through process of creating automation, testing them and debugging them to ensure they work as intended. Plus, concept of internal integrations, integrations for manufacturers, and, okay, this may be the only thing that sticks out. This is the eWeelink integration. I know why the author or Marco did it, because it's a nice example of a manufacturer creating add-on integration for Home Assistant. But actually, this is a bad example. Unfortunately, the eWeelink has more of abused than used the integrations with Home Assistant and reversed it. Instead of providing data to Home Assistant, it actually is pulling data from Home Assistant and pushing it in the cloud. And this is something that developers of Home Assistant don't think is appropriate, to say at least. But then again, this is not a problem of the author of the book. This is an issue with how this integration exploits Home Assistant and doesn't work as it should. Also, in this section, Marco goes through the UI or dashboard, everything that you need to get started and understand the concept of Home Assistant dashboards, but also expand it with other customization options. Following that comes section where author shows us how to expand on Home Assistant capabilities by using third-party tools and components, such as Node-RED, InfluxDB, Grafana, and again, Tasmota. Additionally, you learn about Home Assistant Container, or Core, what is IOS Tech, and more. Last section is divided into three chapters. First starts with the DIY creation of the LED strip controller. This will show you everything you need to create your own smart LED strip 
controlled by Home Assistant. Second chapter will guide you through the multiple steps of creating 5 zone temperature logger. And you'll combine knowledge learned before by using DIY IoT devices in combination with Node-RED, Influx and Grafana. Last part of the book really is a nice cherry on the top. While not going into too much details, it covers current and new technologies, different protocols, security, plus of course very hot topic of energy efficiency followed by frequently asked questions for both home automation and home assistant, and a very comprehensive list of other sources that you may look at to get more information. Let's pause here for a minute and talk about giveaway. If you want to win one of the prizes, and they are one printed book from Marco Carvalho and the publisher Pact, plus two ebooks from the same author and publisher, all you have to do is like the video. But also leave a comment down in the comment section below on why do you think smart homes are future that will be adopted more than it is currently adopted. On the 14th of December 2023, I'll be selecting three answers from the comment section below and winners will be announced on my channel community post, Twitter and also my Discord server. I'll ask you to contact me if you win so we can send you the prize. Actually, the pact will send you the prize, so I will have to forward your details to them. For a conclusion, this book can really fill your knowledge gap and expand it, but not just related to Home Assistant, bringing you closer to DIY projects, shows you how to expand even existing installations with Grafana, InfluxDB, and it touches the topics of the future technologies and upcoming trends. This is not a dry academic material. It's a living tissue that combines bits and pieces it covers in a bigger picture and paints with all of the colors. And I'm not just saying that because it shows you how to build your own WLED project. If you want to enjoy your time away from the screen or your screen but reading time, check out the link in the video description and get yourself this awesome book by Marco Carvalho from Pact. Available both in paperback or ebook. Thank you, Marco, for opportunity to read the book and make a review. And also thank you for very inspiring contribution to the growing home assistant community. And this is it for this video. I really do hope that you did enjoy it because I really was scared of producing it. Because it's really hard on making a review of somebody's life work or of somebody's months and months of efforts that went into this book. Once again, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, but also check out the link down in the video description that will take you to the Amazon web page where you can buy Kindle version or the paperback version of this book. And for the end, I really would like to thank all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, liked or subscribed to my channel. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below or you can go to my merchandise store and get something there. The third option of course is as always super thanks and if you do a super thanks I will be super thankful to you too. I will be seeing you next time, until then bye bye and read a good book.